All right, Big Mac, today is Monday. It is March 11th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports, Snake Draft Monday. Joined by two in-studio guests. We got Donnie on the couch. We got KB on the desk. Exceeding controversy out of the gate. Let's just get that out of the table, off the table. Yeah, I, I'm a, I'm a backseat guy. I'm a couch <laughs> guy. Um, just right like here. Like, all, the, Do you want to switch with me? Yeah, I can get you closer to the couch if you be want. That would better, but no, we're, we're good. We're gonna You're locked this. in. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Donnie took the couch. KB was like, right. You typically sit with people all around you on the yak. This is close, yeah. I took the couch just because I knew how much KB would hate you, sitting front and center at the table. If it helps in my mind when I visualize it, I thought this was swapped. Like I, I could, yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought, yeah. yes. Always there. Yes. Yes. Out of 10 imagination. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, but we're gonna switch after the third round. All right, yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's, a, that's a great, it's a great benchmark. Uh, I feel like the last one you did was the uh, Civil War draft. I think yes, yes, that was a fun one. Although, like, you weren't allowed to like post social clips or something. Yeah, correct. Like, yes. it was. It was, it was, it was during bump. a very yes touchy time and exactly. Yeah. But it would. Right, what's listen. the big deal? But that was fun, and and I yeah. think I won that draft. I think Chaps won. Did yeah, he? he knew where every like Chaps is like this is what, yeah. facility. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, oh, but yeah. I think yeah. I may have won because I got. Well, you would know if you won. I had. You might California have won the vote. And Texas? No, maybe I didn't get California and Texas. But now there's actually an actual Civil War movie coming out where California and Texas form an alliance and a fight seems very unrealistic. Country. Yeah, I know. Is it, it a like, science fiction? Well, yeah, I guess it's science fiction. I mean, it's not based on real events. Um, but, but it could just be fiction fiction. Yeah, it's just fiction fiction. But, I mean, the movie looks good. I hope they explain how, like, California and Texas decided to team up. I feel like you got to annex Arizona and New Mexico if you do that. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I know California does have a lot of right-wing people, too. They do. Um, but, yeah, like, as of now, those two states probably hate each other the most out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, and I think you did uh, last the words for boobs with Che. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I need to redeem myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a low testosterone stage of life. <laughs> but you're back now. Thinking of, yeah. No, Are you high T again? Constantly Very thinking of pussies, tits, and, and big, uh, big shapely asses. We could pivot this to words for ass instead. No, this is the one thing that I enjoy more. Are there 25 <laughs> words for ass? Than big, than big ass, boot, yeah. big booties. Uh, all right. On that note, huh. hmm. what happened? I'm, I'm wondering if there's 25 <laughs> words for ass. There's got to be. Why don't you blog Let's it be, after? No, that's gone. the thing. Like ass is so perfect. Yeah. It just yeah. rolls off the tongue. It sounds good. But with like what we said, like boobs is... Ugh. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind boobs. Breasts, no. Nah. Breasts, no. Yeah. And then like, yeah. t- tits is like the only one. Yeah. Memories, yeah. Nah. Jebs. Jams, sweater oh. hams. That's oh yeah, you guys had a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In Scotland, they call them chebs. Chebs, I like yeah. chebs. Chicago, uh, ass or titties town. Ooh, I think uh, probably more of an ass town. I would say probably. In my head, someone told me if you're a tits guy, you're old school. I've always been a tits guy. Oh. As have I. Oh. I don't know. Uh, we has got those corn-fed women. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You need that gives you the nice little roundness in the ass <laughs> yeah yeah midwest is ass yeah but what what what's tits because i'd say florida. like yeah. miami florida is no f- miami's ass miami's yeah, yeah, miami's yeah, like, yeah miami has the yeah. most fake ass what's the tit the scottsdale scottsdale is a tit town yeah, I, I think There's tits are one. like the silent majority we Dallas. just sit there just kind of sneaking glances well, and that's is it, it just a convenience thing because they're you can yeah we're right in an era where you can just see the entire ass every girl wears Leggings, mm-hmm. yeah, so true just, too. You can pretty much see the ass. Tits are a little bit more. Um, you got to use your imagination. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you guys mm-hmm. ever noticed that British chicks have very large tits? They're voluptuous. Yes. Yeah, yeah. but but usually not large asses. Hmm. I guess I have to look can you out. tell the uh, Asian with an ass fact? They didn't have dairy until like twenty years ago or something. Yeah, I mean, I was starting to see some Chinese girls that had like larger asses. Donk. Um, and I think that used to not happen. But like now when you're in China, they got McDonald's and KFCs on every okay. corner. They got squat they, racks. They're definitely eating more cheese. Yeah, they got more squat racks. Mm. Um, so now you can see an Asian woman ass and it's like, yeah, it's it's a treat. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I bet. All right. Mm-hmm. 
Fellas, we could keep talking to you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could keep doing that. I'm sure we'll get there in the, a Caleb the episode. Um, nah, but we'll do the draft. Worst states, as you can see in the description. Uh, let's just do the order. Uh, Donnie, Lance has one through five behind his back. What is it? Two. No. Uh, KB. Five. No. Chief. One. No. Dave. Three. No. Four. Yep. Good shit. I don't think Lance. I've ever won 50-50. <laughs> Good shit. Impressive. I'll go, uh, I'll go three. I'm going to go middle. Um, one through four, Donnie. Two. No. Uh, KB. Three. No. Chief. One. Yeah. I'll go. F- I'll go fifth. Okay. One through three. White Sox, Dave. Two. No. Donnie. Three. Yeah. One, two, or four. Um. Oh, I choose. It yeah. If yeah. I want to go. Yeah. Um. I'll go first. Okay. One or two, KB. One. Yep. So what's two, open? Two or four. Um, I'll do four. Okay. All right. So the order is Donnie, White Sox, Dave, Eddie, KB, Chief. Before we really kick things off here, though, I want to make sure that you guys have a place to go to to get a nice vehicle. And you guys already know that that's ChevyDriveChicago.com. The auto show may be over, but the best deals at your local Chevy dealer are still going. It's time for the new car, your local Chevy dealer, and they have something for you. Uh, The all-new Equinox, the Trax, and the Blazer are SUVs you'll want to test drive and drive off in. Giving everything from style to comfort, safety, and plenty of room, there's a Chevy SUV for you. Uh, As we've been talking about all week, Chief just bought a nice gray Chevy Blazer. And it's nice. Lance, you saw that, right? I, I know you, you don't have a mic in front of you probably, but uh, we were talking about it. We did a little tour. Uh, we actually showed it off in last uh, Friday's 773 TV, which you could go check out on our Rumble and our uh, YouTube page. Uh, it's a nice one. It's gorgeous. I love it. Yeah, yeah it's sleek. It's gorgeous. Very nice. So uh, you could get one as well. You just got to head to ChevyDriveChicago.com to learn more about these cars and find your local Chevy dealer today. On that note, Donnie, you could lead us off. What is the worst state in America? Worst state in the country. I mean, I've... I <laughs> Hawk feel, that shit. I feel bad going with this one just because I don't think I've ever been, but it. I think it gets ranked worse on the most uh, things, on the most negative things, and that is Mississippi. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. like, it's, yeah. like It's very high on drug overdoses, crime, poverty, infant mortality, um... Oh, it, I think it's got the worst education. It does. System I know that in the country, obesity. Like it's West Virginia and Mississippi, and like a heavyweight. They're, they're always in a race to the bottom for those. Yeah, measures. yeah, yeah. I, and I will say, I only really know two people with ties to Mississippi, and <laughs> they're both bad. Seeds. They're both tough. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even you talk to Brandon Walker, he's very open about the fact he's like my dad sold meth and i feel like that's like if you're born there there's a 50 50 chance that your dad is gonna oh he's yeah. in the meth industry yeah 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 yeah, sell meth yeah at some point yeah um does so, he do, would he like if he was in the room like you probably know him the best what do you think his reaction would be to um brandon is pride uh prideful yeah. about mississippi he always defends it mm-hmm. i think he knows it's he knows what it is but is still in denial a little bit. Yeah, I mean that's that's going to be the case for anybody if it's your like home I'm state. Trying to think, or he would talk from. up. Yeah, but he would talk up the food like the fucking southern bit food, of catfish at a gas yeah. station, which awesome. Um, it sounds pretty. <laughs> he would talk up the southern like hospitality. It's authentically southern. The sweet tea. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Although I'm worried about the southern hospitality there. If it's a thing where there people are really nice to your face and then just I think horrible yeah, things. I've like heard that. that. I think there's airs of uh, fraudulence. Johnny, I got a question for you. I, I could see that. Uh, how many states have you been to? Have, have you ever added that up? I haven't added it up. I haven't been to as many as you think. I would guess more countries than states because there's so many flyover states. Like, why would you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I I've, I've been to... 50 countries and I've not been to all the states. Right, right. So there you yeah. go. So do you like do you have any any reason or any will or any want to ever enter the state of Mississippi? Uh yeah, I'd like to go down there. I feel like it would be a fun place to film content. No, nah, I'm take content out of it. 100% take content con- out yeah, cuz you know you're going to find creatures down there of course, but take content out of it. 
Well, I like coastlines, and I'm never. I've like, been to Biloxi. It's oh yeah, that, that but like, beach is like shit brown. It's disgusting. Biloxi, like Mississippi, Ocean Springs. Like, it's on the Gulf, so yeah. there has to be something redeeming about that. It's it's a poor man's Atlantic City. You can like gamble and yeah, I mean you can have fun, but I, it's it's the it's, worst it's, state on it's the planet. scuzzy. That's kind of oh what you I you're in the camp. It is it, it is the worst this state. Was, yes, this and was I, number one. On my I've board, heard the too. coastline is the nicest part of the state, and it's still not that nice. Mm. Um, I'm surprised I would you guys there. haven't done a rediscovering down there. No, we should. We yeah. should have like brand shows around. Um, I would go to the Grove. Is that where? Yeah. 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 So I'm, I've heard it's what? incredible. I've heard that. So that that's a, that's a big plus that a lot of yeah. states don't have like a great college football. football atmosphere. My buddy yeah. Nick, he does. Uh, he goes to just random SEC game every year, not with any allegiance. He just picks one, and um, and he said that's the best one he's been to. But doesn't matter. Tennessee, Bama. I've been. Doesn't matter. That's nice. Yeah. yeah, and then Mincy spent a lot of time there. So did he go to? He you went to Ole Miss or yeah, Ole Miss, yeah. State? Yeah, and mm. if, like Mississippi has the worst education in the country, and then it took him what like nine years to graduate or something like that. But he got in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Is there a country equivalent of Mississippi in your head that you've been to? Um, well, people were saying like if you just compared like all the stats of Mississippi, but considered it its own country, it, it would be very similar to like most third world countries. Whew. Yeah, um, the yeah the poverty, like the per capita income, and then the humidity, the yeah violent yeah. humidity. I would have a hard time down there. The thing that caught the thing that attracted me the most was I, I couldn't believe that they didn't have a lottery. They do what? since they yeah they didn't have a lottery. Now they do they. It's like six years old. Started in like 2018, but they didn't have a lottery before that. Yeah. Probably like their biggest industry. It could be. Yeah. After meth, apparently. Just didn't have it. A lot of, uh, I went to Clinton. That's where I spent some time. A lot of uh, depressing billboards. A lot yeah. Of, a, lot of, a lot of HIV billboards. I mean, oh. the, yeah. the, the state sucks so bad that until 2020, they had the Confederate flag in their state flag. Now I'm with it. <laughs> that's fun that's cultural oh I, I think it also has the lowest life expectancy it does what is it like 42 right. damn all right, got, 71, all right we, i think we've given miss it's a great it's a great yeah. first a lot pick. of yeah. Uh, yeah. fodder yeah we we uh, i mean we gave them their props they got the grotto that's yeah. cool we are up there. Grove. Yeah. Uh, and and I can see because like Brandon Walker moved up to New York and then like there's probably times when he's like, I really want to go to Mississippi just for the slower pace of life. And just like that would be nice after living in a place like New York just to spend a week in Mississippi where everything's kind of like slow and there's a lot of open land. Mm -hmm. So that's a pro. David? I haven't been to this state. I never want to go to this state. Sorry, KB. I West Virginia. That place completely sucks. Fair. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, everything. It, I had it on my board. I was going to use it as a late pick if necessary. I thought it would survive a little bit. Go on. Why? Yeah. It, why I mean, everything that? we've said about Mississippi. I like in my brain. It it's the same place, just further northeast. It's just what, yeah, more mountains. Our, yeah. More mountains. Yeah, more mountains. Yeah. Um. I. I. But I still. I just picture like meth heads that. Are cooking bath of gin. It's opiates, yeah. Yeah. Or oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They like the downers. They don't like the the fun shit. I mean, yeah, you'll get some yeah. meth too, but more, yeah, it's oxycotton, yeah, heroin, fentanyl. Yikes. Yeah. But the thing, yeah, our only defense is like it's beautiful. Like, it oh, it's, look, yeah, yeah, it looks like a pretty state. My dad and that do take that into account. My dad. That's was, why I would have taken uh, yeah. Mississippi over West Virginia. My dad was going there for work a lot, like early last fall and he that's what he would say he's like it is beautiful right yeah the new river gore yeah there, there's a, a list of places but yeah the actual cities towns it's, it's a is, it, and also it, seems like a good football environment ish so no. you got morgantown yeah yeah which is it's a it's a party environment okay it's not pretty um it's dilapidated but so you can have being, fun a, being a native you can turn up in yeah town. you can you can do that i mean you can do that a lot of places but give me like aside from the college like give me a redeeming quality of west virginia You're, no, yeah there's none yeah yeah, yeah. all the all the cities all the and uh, and here here's something we didn't talk about same thing for west virginia no pro sports teams that's a fucking huge negative to me shout out wheeling nailers 
Are they pro? Yeah, dollar beer night. <laughs> <Ray> Naylor's <laughs> yeah. got a wheeling casino afterwards, been mm-hmm. on horses. Yep. Um, Marshall. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Marshall, that plane crash. Randy yeah. Moss. Yeah, Randy Moss. Yeah. Uh, what's his yeah. name? Yeah, Chad Pennington. Pennington. They mm-hmm. won the soccer national title. Oh, ago. oh there we go. That's wow. exciting. Mm-hmm. I did the, uh, it's called the Appalachian Service Project, and it was a church group in my town where we all drove down to West Virginia and like built homes down there for very poor people. And it was wild. Like it's like going to a third world country and Mm -hmm. some of these towns and you're trying to put on a new porch and stuff. And it was cool to see that side of life in America and the people were very friendly, but it was just sad to see. Uh, Yeah. It's just sad as fuck. Um, I think with all that said, do you take pride in being from there? No, no, no. Um, did you spend your whole childhood there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like the wrestling state tournament, like there were like sixteen man brackets, but like t- twelve of the guys like were illiterate. Yeah, um, really. Um, like physically and academically. So in your case, the apple it, fell like miles from the tree. It was the uh, the ugliest functioning human of gathering in the world. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. I kind of want to go to one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'd be that just happened last weekend. Hey, yeah, oh, the, did it? The, Fuck. Have you ever seen October Sky? Yeah, no, that's true. I'm surprised. It's a very good movie. Yeah, it's Slept a really good movie. I think it's like that was Jill- a school movie where they wheeled in. Yeah, yeah. but it's good though. Wait, that is West Virginia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's West Virginia in, in Coal Town, West Virginia. Yeah, and, um, and uh, Rough and Rowdy. Shout out Rough and Rowdy. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm up. Th- this is less depressing because I don't think it's known for like the pits that those are known for, and. I love I love corn. I love Casey's pizza. Yeah, oh. it's a but thing. I'm gonna go with Iowa. There's just just for the sole fact that just there's not much to there it. is nothing in yeah. the entire state. I think there are states with less though. Yeah, I, I'm. I like Iowa. I'm biased toward Iowa because it's a wrestling state. Yeah, yeah that's true. Which also, if wrestling is like the biggest thing. Amateur which it is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's a problem yeah like iowa city ames is great i'm sure ames is very pretty yeah, yeah, Des Moines, two, Des Moines, i would say two great college atmospheres are yeah. good Des Moines is the very least good so is, is des moines fun it's 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 not madison but it's like a tier below it's a fun time it's the best they got it's it's like there's just not much to it. There's, yeah. Yeah. And there's no like geographical diversity. Nothing. Yeah. It is flat, flat farmland. and cornfields as far as the eye can see. I will say, I know a guy who used to go to Wisconsin for lake houses in the summer, and then like the prices just went insane. Now he goes to Iowa. He's like, you know, like it's better. It's less crowded. Uh, you know, you're not far from Iowa City. Like, so maybe in the summer. Hmm. I like that. Maybe yeah, I'll check some that out. Cabins. Hmm. It's not that I dislike it. Well, you took it in the first round for worst state. Sounds like you might do third over. I don't. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I truly don't. Hard have, to say. I like it when you drafted it third over. I truly. Do, I meant to say this for me, but I truly don't have like a total dislike for any place that I've been. Mm-hmm. To be honest, but it just. I got just, some. I got not much to it. Yeah. There's not, and that's it. Um, I appreciate world's largest truck stop. Yeah, and I appreciate how, like, like you said, a lot of their athletes like play for the like. Iowa as well, like they're Hawkeyes. Yeah. You know, like Kalen yeah. Clark's from there. Yeah. Like I like that, mm-hmm. you know, but. I do have to shout out uh, Fong's Pizza. It's a chain there that I guess they serve a great crab rangoon pizza. Hmm. And everyone tells me I have to check it out. So that's the one reason I would go to Iowa at some point. Do you know what city it's in? Um, I think they have one in Des Moines. Des Moines. All right. Uh, we were supposed to go last year. That would have been. So yeah. I was only three hour, if that, drive west, like two hour, two and a half hour drive west. And my entire life, I had never stepped foot into in the state of Iowa until uh, 2021, that summer when we did the Field of Dreams thing. That was the first time I ever stepped foot in the state. That's how nothing it is there that I didn't that even So name. nothing yeah, that yeah, Dave didn't yeah. go. <laughs> it was, I mean, you'd think. Growing up that close to the state, you'd at least have ventured to it at one point or another. I think that might be a you issue, though. I ventured there. Yeah, but there's no reason for me to ever venture there. Not baseball, not fucking anything. Yeah, you you could have parted. How, how many how many times That's have worthy. you ever said, hey, we're going to Iowa? It's worthy to party in Iowa City for I sure. I think a metric yeah, is, like, so. could you realistically spend a long weekend there with your boys, like, for a fun trip? 
if you take away the seen. college time, the best I, option would be like Iowa game day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 which would be great, but they're fun. Yeah, which is good. Like, yeah, yeah more than some states. It'd have to be like Iowa football during deer season. Yeah. They have, but if you're not into hunting, then it's not going to work. KB, you're up. Okay, this is along the same lines as Iowa, but what I think is even less, and that's North Dakota. Mm. Ooh, yep. Um, nothing against the people, or maybe um, it could be. Cunts. What do we know about traits of North Dakotans? <laughs> there is nothing there. You couldn't. Re- you couldn't spend a long weekend there Mm-mm. for voluntarily. It's just all prairies, farmland, oil drilling. Yeah, yeah, a lot of oil. Towns that are nothing. Towns that look like the backdrop of like a middle school theater depiction of a town that's all it is <laughs> like the post the two-dimensional yep. post office they built it 1950 and made no improvements and um so that goes to sporting events nothing though the hockey is college but, hockey yeah. is supposed to be like el- okay didn't know that yeah. it's it's that, i it's guess a that's big deal. I had they, a, ha- they have like the taj mahal of college hockey ranks uh grinnell just did like a video on it because it's like that i think like, i've seen und's yeah, like, facilities yeah. it's amazing they have but, i think they have like marble flooring like or like it's preposterous uh-huh. yeah but, but other than that football right. basketball yeah. dominates you got yeah. north dakota north in north dakota state grand mm-hmm. forks and mm-hmm. fargo they're both play yeah, football indoors and those are the only like actual towns and they're on the minnesota border yeah right? so that, right. like, the rest of the the whole state is just nothing it's nothing yeah, yeah it's a good pick i don't even know why it exists i feel like every once in a while you see a like um like a meme like we're gonna sell it to canada to get out of debt and then canada's just like no, no we don't want no, it no. yeah it's but worthless I, yeah the dollar's worthless here i do feel like it hasn't had its moment yet and i feel like it's coming <laughs> like what's coming maybe with global warming because like as of now it's the cold you're right state. you're right <laughs> no i think that i think that's what they like say they're like, banking on that's a it's the that's the time party. all they need yeah. is a little show with kevin costner to air there and then everyone will fucking move there and he it'll did be it great. he did Wait, it he did he did, dance oh, he, with, did dance with wolves the whole thing was in north dakota all right well, i thought that we was need Kansas to get for some reason no. okay um we and we have to talk about it women perhaps the uh, ugliest and nothing. I, I don't know if they have I've never yeah, seen I, one. I, I, Yeah, we don't know. Have they you work ever on met oil. a woman from Anybody North from North Dakota? I, no. I, mean, I don't think I've ever met a single person a that's North from North Dakota. Oh, she's going to be a rocket. What's, but that uh, Accents, gross. Ooh, they that have one? They have like yeah, the but, trailer like park that, boys. Minnesota, it's like gross Canada. Canadian. Uh, yeah, like yeah. white trash. Fargo? Fargo. Okay. Yeah, but that movie I feel like took place in Minnesota. I think they filmed it there. Yeah. Yeah. But like Braintree. I feel like I remember Braintree. (laughs) Braintree, Minnesota. Good pick nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. Chief, you're up. Uh, I'm going Connecticut. I've been, I I was born there. Strong pick. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, uh, I've been railing against Connecticut for years now. That place absolutely stinks. They try to claim Boston. They try to claim New York City. They don't have any of their, uh, any of their cities are good on their own. Hartford stinks. Uh, New Haven stinks except for the pizza. Uh, um, tri- Bridgeport is like was a top ten murder city for a long time. I don't know yep. if it still is. Awful place. Their coastline is basically just a big pond because New, New uh, Long Island blocks most of it. But so you have a lot of these rural kind of methy people there for the Aaron Hernandez. Aaron Hernandez. Thank yeah, that's you. true. That's, that's a good true. one. Yeah. So you have all like the rural kind of like you know, problems that we've talked about in other states. And then you have like the elitist douchebags that are oh, yeah. driving distance Greenwich, or train yeah. distance. Yeah. Greenwich, um, to New York city. So you get like the worst of both worlds. Uh, that state has no redeeming qualities other than pizza. It's pizza and that's it. Uh, that place absolutely yeah, stinks. And it. I, like I said, I was born there. So I'm allowed to I say, I guess it. like I wouldn't consider it as a, one of the worst because of its proximity to New York City, to other Boston, places. but I, that's I don't need what is that? What does that, that stand for? Yeah, you, you do get credit for it because I think there is a yeah, there there's is a value to that. There yeah. is definitely value to that, but I've been in Connecticut. It's the worst place I've ever been to. And then I do re- driving worst through place it I've ever sucks. It's like is, a purgatory, like yes, a yeah, purgatory. Like yeah. we're so close. You would yeah. think it would be great. Yeah, I also remember this is a long time ago now, but they had a big headline in the New York Times that said Connecticut now worse than Illinois, and it was like for like business purposes where it's like they're taxing everybody so you had like ge used to be there they moved out all the insurance companies used to be like it used to have like some redeeming reasons to live there 
those are all gone. So like that state has literally nothing going for it except for being close to other states. They got lucky in that regard, but it I is gonna, it is hell on earth. I would devil's advocate the coast, but you said it sucks. Sucks. That like the suck. beaches aren't even like real beaches. Like it, especially if you're like Westport, Fairfield, like in that area, like they're like there's always like trash in it. The sand's not like soft. It's not clean. They don't have real waves. Like it's they don't. I feel like you can't plus, even swim in it. You can swim it's in like, it, but you're not going to be like August. I also got stung by a jellyfish Ooh, in that sound. Did you pee on it? I had to have someone else. My cousin had to pee Ooh. on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was on Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah. Rock that Island's play- nice though. Is that part of Connecticut? Yeah, I think. I, I think thought that was part of Rhode Island. Okay. Um, um, events, sports, like I guess UConn basketball, but. Yeah. But they have the casino. It's not the same without that, Calhoun. Yeah. Foxwoods is awesome. It's probably the nicest casino I've ever been to. And then uh, Mohegan, what's, Sun. Mohegan, Mohegan Sun is Sun. also incredible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but aside from that, it's like I spent five days there, and this is post Hurricane Irene. So, like, a Motel 6 was like 500 bucks a night. So, we slept in a car. I'm like, this is the worst state I've ever been to. They're price gouging me. Yeah. How dare they? But it yeah. has wealth, it has architectural beauty. Maybe fuck Connecticut it, and fuck anybody from there. Damn, you're up like a good golf. Yeah. yeah, they have some nice golf course because they have the elitism. Stuff yeah. Going. Um, my next state will be. I'm taking Kansas. So same yep, thing. It's like, gonna be mm-hmm. my second. Yeah, Kansas. You know, breadbasket of America. Thanks for all that wheat, but they got nothing. Like even their even Kansas City doesn't even claim Kansas that's in Missouri so like the Chiefs, yeah. Chiefs play in Missouri um, so they they really have nothing going for them except for basketball KU basketball I think they they invent basketball Naismith uh, yeah. whatever so but uh, yeah but I think Kansas another state with just absolutely nothing going on so uh, Kansas my second pick now I'm just going to play devil's advocate here. I would have said all the same shit for Nebraska, but we went to Nebraska and like, it was a beautiful part of the country. I bet there is at least visual. No, not in Kansas. No? Like Nebraska has like the sand hills in the that's, west. That's what we were talking about, Rock. the west. That's yeah. beautiful. Kansas, nothing. That's where we were, the sand hills. Nothing? Zero? Nah. Nothing. I looked, nothing. I did a whole like blog roasting it when I first started. Okay. I remember. <laughs> Kansas is the worst. <laughs> um, yeah, they didn't even know how to defend it. <laughs> I went to Kansas for the national championship and okay. the atmosphere was so underwhelming in my opinion. The college was so mediocre and also there's hills in the college. Like it's all flat yeah. and just inconvenient hills on a college campus. It was game day, national championship day. And we, we got there at like 2 PM and it ghost town. Granted, like after they won, like they paraded the street, but that's almost, it's like the, choir, like, like, like the yeah. bars were now empty. You're just like, the bar, everything no one was drinking oh weird leading up to that night like hmm that it didn't start to like six i don't have any allegiance to the university of yeah. kansas and i feel like i was probably drinking in preparation for that yeah we were it was, like every yeah like, huh responsible they are very, very For some reason a lot of a lot of chicago people go to yeah kansas. i knew a ton of like yeah. probably a solid dozen people i would kansas. say a lot of the hot girls from st charles like maybe five of them went to kansas you are correct there is yeah. st francis girls that made their way out there yeah but any big school that's a couple states over a lot of people from chicago go to let's call it right and, Mizzou, and I guess. indiana like you name it like, yeah it doesn't matter but i feel like our hot girls didn't go to iowa our hot girls went to kansas you know just saying. All right. Score one for Kansas. They have some hot girls. <laughs> that are from other states. Yeah. I'm up. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we're gonna- this is coming from a place of ignorance, but just all assumptions. Oklahoma. Um, yeah. What are some of those assumptions? Never been. I think it is a, another cultural purgatory. It's not the South. It's not quite, it's not Texas. It's not quite the Midwest. Mm-hmm. It's not quite, I don't know what it is. Just there. Um, I think, I think it's a lot of boring plains. Mm-hmm. I think the cities, the major cities suck ass. I don't One think I wanted to fucking just love it. I don't think completely. you can turn up in Oklahoma city. What? Nothing. Oh, Tim McVeigh. Yeah. 
Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> right. And Tulsa is even worse. So when I was uh, in logistics, uh, so up in that whole little corridor, Tulsa, Lubbock, Texas, Oklahoma City, like truck drivers would refuse to go there because the drug problems are so bad. They would just uh, like meth problems would randomly pull over truck drivers in those cities are like, no, I'm not delivering freight to Tulsa. Huh. I'm not delivering freight. Yeah. I never Lubbock. heard that yeah. before. Because it's just, it's fucking meth capital. Uh, Santa Fe, New I, Mexico is in there. Like Albuquerque. someone needs to give me the yeah. actual meth capital because I'm tired of hearing meth, that the meth. Yeah, uh, I the think that would be like capital? America, Indiana, Missouri, all rural Florida, Illinois. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like, more rural Midwest. Yeah. yeah. Um, Oklahoma was. I think it was formed because the government was like, um, let's put all the Native Americans on like the worst the land in place. the country, and, and they chose Oklahoma. The, the that found is, that oil. True. That, the yeah. panhandle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're like, I actually, yeah. you guys got to go somewhere yeah. else. The panhandle, it's 35 miles wide or something like that, and, uh, and like 150 miles long or whatever, and that used to be a legitimate no man's land where it was lawless. It was, it was not federally owned. It was owned by um, like Indian reservations or whatever, but like all the wild west there would be murders there they would like it was it was no man's land hmm. well, now it just like and nothing is there still but no what what wh why I will would you say, ever go to i will Oklahoma? say it is geogra surprisingly geographically uh diverse it has caverns it has dunes like the little sahara waterfalls it even has mountains but the majority of it is nothing um oklahoma city like the the thunder think about like Kevin Durant in the peak of his life, like the, the, probably the top pussy getter in the world if he wanted to be, and he would just chill at his apartment and, and like tweet. play video games. You yeah. can't turn like when he Westbrook had to, wasn't turning up yeah. in Oklahoma City. Remember when he had to tweet out? He was like, "Anyone want to play flag football?" <laughs> yeah, that's how bad he's an NBA superstar, yeah. in the peak and prime of his life, and he's doing that. Yeah, he's trying to crowdsource yeah. a yeah. flag football. Hey, <laughs> hey, he got it done. That game looked fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the skyline of Oklahoma City yeah. right now. I could have fun there. I'm sure. You probably could. I could find a I like bar and have fun. There. You definitely a steakhouse. Could, probably. I feel like yeah. some of these Western Miami. places, like that, have nothing. They gotta just go hard and like lean into the whole saloon thing. Did like every bar should have those saloons. swinging doors. Right. Yeah, so everything a yeah. Western. Yeah, everything make everything a Western. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm up. I, I don't know how this might be controversial because they do have culture, which I appreciate, but. Besides New Orleans, Louisiana is tough, man. And Baton Rouge, obviously, you got LSU. Louisiana yeah. is scary. I've never been. Scares the shit out of me. And, and just structurally. Yeah. Uh, below no, Eddie, level. I wouldn't pick them because they have hitters. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. They have a strong army of very proud Louisianans. Yeah. I get it. See, get it. I, this yeah. to me, this is the worst pick of the draft because I like have to make it to New Orleans eventually. You've never but, been? No. But, I haven't either. Yeah, it sounds like an awesome it's, city for like, like food. Obviously, yeah, it's culture. Like, if it's you very go in like culture. June, July, or August, yeah, it's, it's unbearably. I'm hot. sure it's a sauna. Right. Yeah, well, it's probably the most unique American city. Right, uh, all the one French of the coolest. Twists. Some of the best food. Mm -hmm. Some of the best entertainment. But yeah, we went in late September, and it was un, you yeah. unbearable, yeah. intolerable humidity. I'm I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Like I, like I said, I like New Orleans, but I, it's very. High on the list. This Dude, is very that, draftable. That True Detective, I feel like, did so much damage. Because usually yeah. if you close your eyes and you think of Louisiana, the only picture you have is you know, like Mardi Gras in New Orleans and maybe LSU football. That show comes out and shows like the depths of Louisiana along the coast. You're like, fuck that place. Yeah. So it's bad uh, PR. I think the majority of Louisiana is like Mississippi – yeah. Ask or like pretty depressing swampland. Yeah. Yeah. But that they have the NOLA good PR factor. Yeah. And they have the culture. Yeah. And Baton Rouge. I appreciate that. I think that's and Baton Rouge, major yes. cities. Uh, Baton Rouge for sure. I, I'm you've never been to New like You've never been there. New Orleans. I know I've never been, but like I I, I want to go. I, I, that's like on the to do list. Well, let's revisit this pick when you go. Take you, the river. You have said that you. Mm -hmm. That you, New Orleans is one of my favorite places. I like it a lot. It's it's a it's a great it's a great town. But so I'm okay. drafting the state of New, the state of Louisiana. Yeah. The state of Louisiana, and New Orleans is in the state of Louisiana. I that, get it. I, I understand that. But you could have gone like with my pick, Arkansas. 
and, oh, and just had like that. a way better argument. But Arkansas I don't think it has, has the pro- it doesn't have the problems that Louisiana has. That's my point. Ah, you're not I mean you're not going um, there. Arkansas does have a lot of problems. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think it has the same problems. According to healingproperties.org, um Arkansas actually has the most meth deaths. Oh yeah. There we go. Right. The meth state. Meth capital of the world. That, yeah, that's a backward state in my mind. Um Never yep. been there. It's the headquarters of Walmart. That is true. Yeah, it, it that's did not birth like a plus. the Clintons or Bill at least. Yeah. It's got the Clintons and it's got so, Walmart and that's it. Uh Fort that's Smith, tough. I believe is where I've heard the hot springs are oh. cool. And uh, yeah, up in oh, the Northwest, gonna, yeah. The only positive thing I can say about Arkansas is it has what's it called? The Ozarks, which are apparently I, nice. I think that is Missouri. Missouri. Yeah. yeah. Isn't both. that like northern Arkansas, southern yeah, Missouri? It's both. If you go to the Lake of the Ozarks, it's in Missouri, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I don't think it touches into Nebraska or into I think they, there's like a Arkansas. lot of lakes, but Yeah, I think you're I'm, I think it's both. Yeah. It's on the border. I think people say like the northwestern area is like nice and built. Yeah, up, and yeah. But I, know, I know Al Capone used to have like hideouts and vacations down at the hot springs okay. for whatever that's worth. It's the yeah. duck hunting capital. Yeah, you I've just got back from too. there a couple weeks which, ago. Yeah, which I thought like it's that's fun, but I don't duck hunt enough for me to ever like rank that as a good state. Yeah, you could smoke inside gas stations. I appreciate that. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> yeah. That's America right there. Driving down to PCB, we stopped once, and some guy was smoking in the gas station. We're like, dude, let's light one up. Like, you have to. This you is have crazy, to. so we all lit one up. Yeah, just, you have to. Yeah. It's yeah. a nice nice feature. Uh, Donnie, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm going to go South Dakota, because like, mm. name one reason why South Dakota is better than North Dakota. Mount Rushmore. Yeah. I mean, that's like- It's the same. Uh, I would say like the Black Hills are a little bit prettier- uh, okay, like yeah. West. Yep. But uh yeah, that's I would say like far like there's no like Fargo is better than their best city, Sioux Falls. Yeah, Sioux Falls. And I mean Mount Rapids. Rushmore, that has to be one of the worst tourist attractions. I thought it was cool. That's what people okay. say. People do say it. See, I would it's, like to road trip it, it live up to, the to like Yellowstone or something and cut through the <laughs> So that's that's yeah. what I did. So my family when I was fourteen, we had the we went we had two RVs with another family. They mm-hmm. had, we each have four kids, whatever. And that South Dakota was our first stop. So I remember, like, dry, we left in like the night. Oh man! And got there, trouble. and I woke up at like three in the morning, and like wa- walked outside to piss, just like just piss anywhere. And it was the most spectacular stars I've ever seen. I believe seen. that. Yeah, they were so great that I kind of want to go back because I haven't seen anything. Because there's mm-hmm. just nothing around. There's no light pollution. Nothing you could see like. You could see like the Milky Way with your like the mm-hmm. almost like the dust like yeah, that was that's cool. It was like a very memorable thing, and I did like Mount Rushmore. I thought Mount Rushmore was kind of cool. It felt like you ever seen the Mona Lisa? How they say like its eyes like track you when you look yeah. at it. I felt the same way about George yeah. Washington. Like George Washington's eyes are like, ah, but like yeah. I know it's beautiful. Like when I look at pictures, like w- w- can you make a day out of it? No, it's like uh, hey, we're we were there at night for that too. And I feel like you're there for like two or three hours and then you hit the road. What but do you do cool. for two or three stuff. hours though? Do you just stare at it? There's like little like information centers and you kind of stare at it. There's like camping grounds nearby. Yeah. Um, the Badlands I, are amazing. All right. I mean, the Badlands. Okay. I have heard yeah. positive things about The Badlands that. were sweet, but I fell down because it's like that loose kind of clay mound. Yeah. And I, I slipped and I just slid for like... It had to be like 200 yards. And my ass, like the rest of the trip, that was like the first or second day, I had like just the worst scrapes like all in my hands and on my ass. It just slid all the way down. So that was unpleasant, but the Badlands were cool looking too. And supposedly you could find like dinosaurs and like. That's where uh, they were. They were in one of the Dakotas in Jurassic Park at the beginning, obviously. Yeah. Fake skeleton, but that's where they were. Yeah. They were in the, it said the Badlands. That's yeah. what it was. So yeah, the Badlands are cool. So I got nothing bad to say about South but, Dakota. But yeah, there's it's, nothing. But I would yeah, I would I never it, want to live there. But sucks. it's a very draftable state. And definitely, decent, definitely probably belongs sports, in the top nothing. ten. Yeah, and literally nothing worse than North Dakota. Uh, Donnie, you're up again, third round. Hey, let's pause for a second here because I want to talk about Stella Blue Coffee. At Stella Blue Coffee, we believe good coffee is one of life's non-negotiables. Stop drinking those boring, tasteless coffee beans and turn to Stella Blue. Remember, your mornings are sacred. It's time to start treating them that way. Not only are Stella Blue Coffee's premium beans sourced from the most coffee-rich geographies on earth, 
but they're also Big Cat tasted and approved, which is obviously more important. Syllabu Coffee's delicious roasts are available in cold cup uh, in cold brew, K cups, ground, and whole bean formats to seamlessly fit into your morning coffee routine. Oh, and every bag sold helps save dogs, which is great. Uh, head to your local Jewel Osco or Mariano's today to find the very best deals on Stella Blue Coffee or use promo code WALK for 20% off any order of $25 or more on StellaBlueCoffee.com. Take back your morning with Stella Blue Coffee. Like I said, StellaBlueCoffee.com, promo code WALK. You get 20% off any order over 25 bucks. Go check it out. Okay. Um... So this place, I mean, actually has people and like a large city, but um, I found it extremely boring. Indiana. Mm, um, yeah, I love that. Great pick. Just feel like it's just so meh, so like average. We went there. I think it's like the road capital of the country. And so they had this like park where you can just watch the highways. Yeah, that's, that's like, a thing. That was yeah. the epitome of their energy. You could do that yeah, anywhere. Because they're like, we have tons of highways that like cross through. Like, like we're like one of the crossroads of America. Is that I-65 over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is, like, son. see like five <laughs> highways yeah. at the same time. That's and then awful. I it's, felt bad. Like there was a bunch of young kids doing those like pedal booze cruises where so everyone's impressive. on a bike. Yeah, and that yeah. seemed like the thing to do there. Oof. Yeah, they were like pedaling three miles per hour. Yeah, three miles. Turn, per- like singing, this is how we do. Yeah. The- <laughs> like dated song. Yeah. <laughs> saying, Woo. I think they're on bachelorette parties. I don't know. A pedal Ooh. tavern, man. A, a bachelorette party to Indianapolis has to be yeah all-time low moment. People do compliment it a lot as far as hosting goes. For the oh, Big Ten. Large events. Yeah, I've been to Super the Big, Bowl, Ten Big Ten championship. championship twice there, and they do an outstanding job. It's tailor-made mm-hmm. for an event like that, the Super Bowl or Final a, Four or whatever. It's a very it's, walkable city. It's it's awesome for it. Yeah. Everything's super close, but it weirdly doesn't ever feel overcrowded, even with an influx of people. They do a great job with that. And though I do think the state sucks, we're close enough to it where you can live there and commute back and forth and you get a huge tax break, which is kind of nice. A lot of people do that. They live in what's called the region, which is just Northwest Indiana. Yeah. And we'll commute to Chicago from there. And um, the thing that bothers me about Indiana, it, it, to me, it strikes me as like a southern state, but it's yeah. obviously not. It, it's like mm. part of the Bible Belt, but it's like nowhere near right, the actual right. Bible Belt. Yeah, but you will see like the Jesus Saves billboard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Westboro Baptist yeah. style. That's like yeah. a con for me, I guess, with how religious it is. Yeah. Um, also, it, I would say it has the worst coastline of any state in the country. I think that's fair because um, their coastline is pretty Indiana. much just like Gary's Gary's Coast. just steel yeah. mills. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just a bunch of abandoned yeah. steel mills. Uh huh. Um, You're right. About they that. do have dunes though, which seem yeah. Indiana yeah. dunes. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. they're nice. Yeah. It's a nice okay, park, yeah. but the majority yeah. of the state is yeah, it shit. Sucks. Absolutely. I will shit. say, Indy 500 is like one of my favorite events I, that I've been to. I've always yeah. wanted to go. I've heard it's a blast, even if you don't follow any of that. No, this was going to be my next pick. I hope I was hoping it would get back to me. They do have the world's largest Civil War monument too. Or I guess it's just the nation's largest, but I'm surprised they didn't fight for the Confederacy <laughs> with how they act. I mean, the KKK was founded. That's, there. that's a big oh, strike. Against yeah, them. yeah a that is very Large true. Strike. Yeah, West Virginia fought for the Union. I yeah, think they were course. admitted. Yeah. Right? Is that right? Were they were admitted just to keep the balance right? Yeah, there was like, well, I think the major, like the southern areas, weren't about it. Still yeah. aren't. Yeah, it's more like a northern thing. Mm. Do you guys consider yourself Yankees or s- Southerners? So we, we're another cultural unknown. Like we, I would consider where I'm from to be Appalachia slash Rust Belty, yeah. yeah, even Midwesterny. It's, like it's Pittsburgh adjacent. Yeah, the the south the South is definitely the South. Yeah, hmm. and then like the far East is like DC suburbs. Right. Interesting. That's weird. Ambiguous. Yeah. Uh, Dave, you're up. I'm gonna go with Kentucky. That state fucking blows. Boo! I like Kentucky. It it does have very pretty parts. I still haven't made it to uh, uh, Churchill or Keeneland yet, and I've obviously seen its postcard, picturesque, beautiful, um, like lands. But it it's a Louisville. Place. Louisville's. A, I like Louisville. Louisville fucking stinks. Come on. No, There's I like. Nothing. Have you been there? Yes, I have been. I like Louisville. 
There's not. It's Indianapolis. It's. Uh, it's I'd say it's better. It's, it's got more character yeah, than Indianapolis. A little bit more. Ah, uh, it's similar. I don't know. Yeah. It's 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 a drive-through city though. You just drive through. You don't go to Indiana. So I, I had a buddy who. Really? I would say people do. Yeah. They like do bourbon like the country. Bourbon, yeah. bourbon trail, the yeah. horses. Hey, that's true. Yeah. Jack yeah. Harlow. What was that? Jack, Jack Harlow. Harlow. Jack Harlow. Yeah. I didn't know that, actually. You got the, uh, you didn't know. I didn't know that. He's, he's very proud. Very huh. Yeah. The KFC Yum Center. What is yep. that what it's called? That's it. Uh, yeah, the Yum Center. Yeah, the Yum yeah. Center. So I don't know. I like Kentucky. I, I feel like my, my I was going to say my buddy was a newscaster there for like three years. And so I did a couple of weekends there. It was a good time. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure you can have a good yeah. time in Louisville, but he like, lived in an old converted you, cotton gym. You wouldn't kind of go to Louisville if your buddy didn't live there and you were just looking for something. To do. I would go back. He doesn't live there anymore. I would go back. I would do the bourbon you'll, trail. And you'll we'll go back. you won't go back. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> you'll never go back. If someone was like, "Here's," you a- might go back for work or something, but you're not just gonna like pick up and go to Louisville ever again. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I'm up. Going to the desert. New Mexico. Donnie can speak on this. My older brother lives there, though. He he loves it. I had a sister who lived there for her. She loved it. Yeah. Um, Albuquerque, though, is, like, known to be a very rough city. Really? Yeah. Like, a lot of crime. People say Albuquerque is the meth capital. I don't know. There's, we, right? we, yeah. we have a lot oh, of yeah. meth, oh, meth capitals. Capital. But Albuquerque is rough. But Santa Fe is, is great. But... Santa Fe, you also get those like annoying artsy types. Mm, that's um, what I figured. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like they've done the least with their desert land. You know, it's like not a, as much. It's not desert like as it's much more as you plains. Think. Yeah. Uh, well, then, no, it's I it's got like cool mountains, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's got very cool mountains. <laughs> I've been. I went to Rodeo, beautiful New Mexico beautiful areas. Yeah, but, I've heard it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, I've been to both yeah. those cities. Tau, Taos. I think, uh, yeah, Taos is like one of the best ski resorts in the country. Really? That's like wild because when I went there, I skied in Santa Fe and like I had so many people hit me up. Like I had no idea that you could ski in New Mexico. They kind of snow capped mountains. Yeah. Just because the the elevation is so high. Um, A lot of like rich, famous people retire there. Really? Gene Hackman. Retired in Santa Fe, and then I think someone else famous. I had think a house Oprah there. Winfrey maybe retired in New Mexico. Jeffrey Epstein <laughs> there yeah. it is. had a, yeah. had a yeah. huge yeah. ranch out there that yeah. where he was trying to like repopulate the world. Yeah, so if you're big on privacy, yeah, you don't want yes. people looking into your shit. New Mexico might be the place for you. Yeah, yeah. If you, it's it's very quiet. Mm-hmm. It's Area 51 in New Mexico. Yeah. Is, yeah. Um. No. Roswell. No. That's no. Oh no. Yeah. No. Roswell. 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 Yeah. Sneaky. The aliens like it. It's, oh. Um. George R. R. Martin lives there. Now. Yeah. Oh, he lives yeah. there now. That's where he's working on his last book. How does an English dude be like? Yep. I'm picking up. I'm moving to New Mexico. He started writing that book here. Really? Chicago. Northwestern guy. Yeah. Yeah. But, so New Mexico is my pick. KB. I'm going to have to go with Alabama. Um, I think it's Mississippi with a good football team. <laughs> it's, yeah. not a, it's, yeah. not, it's really not like, a bad well, that's, way to put it. That's, ran by people from other states. The player, I mean, I, I'm sure they have good high school football, but the redeeming quality of Alabama is the university, mm-hmm. which is all out of state kids turning up. Mm hmm. That's true. Just as humid, just as almost just as poor and dilapidated. There's and a gross as Mississippi. Kind of large wild. contingent of the deep south represented. Kind of wild how Nick Saban has done tremendous things for that state. The right yeah, from West Virginia. Yeah, the oh, student yeah, acceptance rate like plummeted after he started winning all his national championships there because the amount of people applying to the school just skyrocketed. Oh so yeah, that did help in a, in a way. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. A thousand percent did. It, used to be um, it is on the coast. I feel like Mobile sucks. Tuscaloosa. Yeah. They might have better yeah. beaches than Mississippi. Montgomery. I think they do. Montgomery is one of those cities that's like always top ten yeah. murder rate. After Birmingham, like Montgomery, Birmingham, Montgomery, no yeah. thanks. Birmingham's uh, supposed to be okay. It's like rolling. I, yeah, I don't yeah. know anything about yeah. it. The Sox got their double A team there, and they said it's fine. Yeah, fine. Chief, you're up. 
Yeah. I'm out of states that I just absolutely fucking hate. Um, so I'll go with another northeast one. I feel like I'm going to get pushed back on this. New York is absolutely terrible. I don't like New York City. I do hate this. I'm sorry. It's fine. Uh, I think that uh, like the rest of the state is tough. It's very rural. Um, you got Onion Towns there. <laughs> okay, onion? it's all these. It's you all heard the, Onion Town. Oh, you haven't heard of Onion Town? I, think I do. Jeez, if you heard Onion Town, KB, yeah. what's Onion Town? Oh, dude, dude, it's a, You guys might have to do a rediscovery. Dude, yeah, Onion. Can we go? I'd I don't, love I don't to. know what that term means. I'm oh, worried for dude. Donnie's going to want to go, and I'm scared for that. Yeah, I'll all go right. with you. I'll go with you. It's, I don't know what it is. What's but I'll go. Onion Town? All right, it's. It's this place that's like, it's like an unincorporated lawless place where they have like a bunch of like Appalachian mountain, like kind of inbred people that keep to themselves. And there's like one road in and one road out. And if you try to go in, they throw like rocks and shit and they attack your car. Like it's, uh, we did a podcast on it, what, 2019? Yeah, wow. Well, okay. Yeah. And it is a, like a creepy, creepy place that oh. you don't really want to go. And that, but you probably do. And I would go with you if you wanted. Okay. Um, but then like upstate New York, Buffalo, like nothing against Buffalo. Don't love Buffalo. That's Ro- fair. Rochester. That's all fair. those. Oh, but kinda, you like Buffalo. I all those kind of old Rust, Rust Belt yeah. kind of places. Or it's like unfortunate, but they're dying. Albany might yeah. be the worst that capital. area sucks like sucks uh, but a lot of lyme disease you do up got you do the got cooperstown and the finger lakes finger yeah lakes are awesome beautiful yeah. like, uh, saratoga's Lyme. nice yeah the adirondacks I've, yeah that's true Poconos? hudson river valley is like, beautiful like i said i'm out of states that i absolutely hate yeah. but i don't like new york city and there's the rest of the state but here's the thing about new york city while i also detest it it does have a lot of awesome awesome parts about it the food, totally yeah no like, i know chicago and new york are i think like heavyweight back and forth champions but yeah the only other college i really considered seriously was uh st lawrence which is basically in canada like i went up for it's a visit up there. it's in canton which is on you the, didn't like that area can't say that i did it so was just landed so on lake forest far from, i want to be closer to home i had just yeah. been out of massachusetts yeah, for a couple, you know so um and my parents moved to connecticut after that so i was like well thanks a lot um but yeah i i'm not a new york guy not a new york guy and uh but i feel like i'll get hate on that and i'll go so i'll just move it along yeah. ne- nebraska. nebraska oh nebraska hasn't been picked yeah i feel like i should see i liked that. nebraska there was a it, simplicity about it that i really appreciated when we went but i think you can get that in that because i felt that a little bit I mean, too but we just sydney wells's you, house you, yeah. exactly you can get that rural like yeah. pace of life where there's just you know it's just nothing but farm yeah easily draftable um i like that was the first time i'd ever been to lincoln lincoln i was expecting lincoln to be like a madison like no nope. we own this fucking state and like because their football team's all they have there and everything that city stunk this just shows you like if alabama if their whole economy revolves around that football team mm-hmm. like they gotta be really scared right now like we don't <laughs> yeah. want to turn into no if we don't get this coaching hire, we're gonna right, be we're gonna turn we're gonna be the nebraska of the south oof yeah, nebraska is maybe the one of the most nothing states because you got Oklahoma, omaha and lincoln on the far east east yeah. Yeah. and the vast majority of the state is nothing nothing like the counties are like, there's it's like i-80 the, the counties have like all less than a thousand people yeah it's crazy and then we and then you keep going like colorado like the next, like I remember, I was like looking at flights, and it's like, do you fly into Denver and then drive six hours to the place that you want to go in yeah, Nebraska? Mm-hmm. Like, there's just nothing within a thousand miles of that place. So Nebraska, I hope they get that football program going because they have nothing else. And it's sad. Well, I guess I don't know anything about Omaha. Uh, people we seem drove to through feel it. Like it's okay. Let me get Mincy in here. Yeah, he goes every year. Yeah. He spends like a month there for the College World Series. So they have yeah. that. But they have like, the how is it as a city, like entertainment nightlife? I don't know. We drove through. It looked fine. I yeah, guess, it's but... like a, it's yeah, yeah, like a Des Moines. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's same thing. Yeah. Same same city. Same city. So that's a good shitty state. Yeah. All right, you are up, KB. Fuck. Yeah, I got everything off my board already. Got to look. Taking a look at a map. <laughs> I just looked at one. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. I think I have to go with Missouri. Um, That's a good one. Very good pick. I think it's. Yeah. I think it sucks. I think it's so bland. 
I guess, you know, there are redeeming qualities, obviously. Ed's going to be like, yo, tell him about Laclede's Landing. <laughs> what? However you pronounce it. Lake of the Ozarks is cool, I guess. Um, I hate it. St. Louis, been there three times. It's the worst city ever. That city yeah. fucking yeah. sucks. Yeah. Like, it's horrible. The arch is kind They're of famous cool. for like fried ravioli. Yeah. And, then, yeah. Like, and they're famous for that Bagel. weird type of cheese. That pizza. Provel cheese. Yeah. St. Louis Vertical bread cut company. Bagels. Yeah. Vertic or vertically horizontal. cut bagels. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, no what? Bagel. What? Yeah, you never there, seen that? Like, oh. Staple Apparently, is like a bagel cup fucked up. Yeah, so it's like you, you basically. Uh, what is the fuck is the point what of you, that? You know, like an apple slicer. Bagel, yeah. You, like you basically do that to a bagel. Kind Why of would up. you do that? I, but yeah. even more, I don't know. It's like a shredder. I don't that's, know, that's fucking stupid. I, par I kind of think that's fake, though. That might be just an yeah. urban legend. Yeah. But hey, I hate it. St. Louis. I, they, I guess the ballpark area was okay. Congrats! I don't. Yeah, think Ballpark that's Village fake. is cool. Yeah, it's it's fun. Soulard's but, fun. The airport sucks. No. Oh yes, yeah. Yes. I, I I said it was the worst airport I've been to in the country. <laughs> yeah, horrible airport. And then I think Kansas. I don't know anything about Kansas City. I just think it's it's probably it's the, if it's featured Omaha. on the on regularly on Cops, then you, your city sucks. And Kansas mm -hmm. City's like on every episode of Cops. I don't know. I've heard great. Things I about I, I like Kansas you? City. Yeah. I liked Kansas City. Like yeah, it, that could be good. Yeah, yeah. I think Kansas Kansas City is a better city than St. At least they're known for something. Kansas City barbecue. Barbecue. They have yeah, like a lot of like food or something. They live music. All those places along the Mississippi River kind of have, or is that a, that's not on the right? Mississippi? No, I think it's St. Louis, then I guess. Uh, but they supposedly they have like good music there too. Yeah, like yeah. That, um, like blues, jazz stuff in Kansas City. I don't know. Ballpark there was sweet too. I know they're tearing it down, but what was the uh, Royals? Kaufman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've heard Waterfalls. it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's nice. Okay. Yeah, Missouri has good things, but it. It's skin probably should have been drafted higher. If I was here. had my yeah. brain running, I would have had Missouri instead of New York. All right. There was like a lot of riots there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> over over 2019, a lot of like yeah, there were and before. Uh -huh. I feel like they were Ferguson, the Ferguson, yeah. Ferguson race, was, race relations there. I think are not great. Rough. Yeah. Yeah. I picture like just the backwards <laughs> Arkansas type people in between St. Louis and Kansas City. A lot of meth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can spelunk. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if they have that. No, they, they got big. You could, you, you in could, there. you could <laughs> spelunk in. Yeah. Trust me, you can spelunk Boulder in Missouri. Spelunk. You guys hate it. What's Columbia. the spelunking yeah. capital? Yeah, yeah, what a shit. I, I feel uh, like I Kentucky know. is like they Kentucky, probably. Tennessee. That's where I've always seen those things. Like, I'll oh, come to these underground caves. Carlsbad Caverns. Where are those? I think that's in New Mexico. Yeah, right? Carlsbad's oh, New Mexico, shit, isn't yeah. it? Uh, yeah, I'm up. I'm just going to throw a dart because it's one of those things where you look at the map as a kid and you're like, I, how are there like a million states up there? And I'm I'm just going to say uh, New Hampshire. Ooh. Don't mind it. I, I lived don't there. Mind that. Did you? As a little kid. Yeah. I still so, have family there. What do you think about New Hampshire? Um, So out of the New England states, I think it has the most serious drug problem. Yeah. Um, it's probably the most, like I know New England's known for being very liberal but i think it's it's probably the least liberal state in new england it's probably the one um, like it is purple yeah. purple state yeah yeah um whereas vermont's like the most liberal yes. state up yeah. there yeah. so like new hampshire and vermont are very similar just one is sort of right wing and one is very left wing yeah i do like they have the greatest uh state motto live free or die that is true that, that's that always hits but their like state all. symbol is like a of rock that slightly resembles a face that doesn't even exist anymore. and it fell down <laughs> yeah but when yeah, i was fell a, down yeah, yeah and when i was a kid like that was like oh my god we're taking a field trip to, to you got to see it yeah, oh yeah the rock yeah. yeah they got skiing are they do they have the least amount of coastline 15 yeah. miles Tiny they're, they're the yeah. smallest amount of coastline so that's why i want them to yeah. over For, okay over the other two plumbers from i think he is yep. yeah I didn't Nashua? Know that. is that where no, he's. I think he's from like a coastal town. Maybe like Rye. we went to. Portsmouth is cool. That's their one yeah. coastal town. Yeah, like I don't. I've never been. No. I have nothing against it. It's yeah. just one of those things where you look at it. Like, what what why it? would you ever yeah. go? Like, what? What? Is, they do a fun spot. I'd like to go to fun spot. I will say, I feel like they have a little bit of self-importance about having the first primary there. So, like an election season, everyone's oh, like, so oh, yeah. they're like very kind of political. It's a little annoying, but are they I'll, have I'll, it this year? What they already did. Yeah, maybe the worst sports state in the country. Oh. Yeah, that's. I think you're. What are you? You're are you going to see like a somewhat rowdy event, sporting event? Well, they just, just drive hockey, maybe. Yeah, yeah you can't. Like at least the like North Dakota, you got hockey. 
at UNH. Yeah, but if, if you live in New oh, Hampshire, yeah, true, you can true, drive to Boston. That's the yeah, like yeah. an hour and a half, an hour. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. yeah you do got proximity. Okay. That that outdoor pond hockey rink that I posted, we made into a sweatshirt. Um, the sunset. That was in New Hampshire. Hanover. David, you're up. I'm going to go with uh, off the. We, I mean, we we've talked about all these basically deep south carbon copies. I'm going to go with New Jersey. That state fucking stinks. Sucks. I'll As always whole, go to bat for New Jersey. New Jersey I, I sucks. Would claim it's it one of the top sucks. states. It yeah. Sucks. Are you letting the people and the stereotypes of the people? But the answer? stereotypes are real. I, they are. Yeah. I. So my mom's from New Jersey. She lives in New Jersey now. I, I'm been going to New Jersey many times a year over the course of my whole life, and I detest that state. The people suck, as is the case for most people in the Northeast in that area. Um, the shore rules, though. Yeah, the shore, shore was. Awesome. I used to make fun of the shore, and then I went, and I was like, "I've I've been, I've done the awesome. shore, I've done the shore plenty of times." My mom lives five right now, five minutes from where the Jersey Shore TV show took place. She's in Times River. That was in Seaside Heights. Well, that's probably it's, the roughest part of the shore. Seaside Heights. That's yeah, like seaside. the most. I mean, well, th- that's the most cliche, but that's right, that's the most cliche, like right? The, the, you're going to see all the fucking crackheads yeah. and and guidos and disgusting Italians. I, I don't like that state. Jesus. I don't like that state. Okay. Make the case for it being one of the best. I think it has some of the best towns. Like the granite, I think like Camden, Trenton. Yeah. Or the, that like those towns. obviously suck. But I mean you have yeah. to place value on the proximity to New York City and Philadelphia. Philly. Philadelphia and then so all the people, the whole shore. all the people that currently live in the state of New Jersey are just insanely dumb because all the smart people make their way to Philly, D.C. or New York. New Jersey is just a bunch of dumb gorillas. It's the dumbest state on our, on planet. I think it's probably one of the smartest. No, it's, I think they're, yeah, there's they're idiots. I be, a subculture of leader. I have. It's like a very normal. Yeah, that otherwise. that's not a state school. I also think New Jersey ha- used to and might still have like the most millionaires in the country. Per capita or something? I don't whatever. Oh, like what, what is that is that supposed to impress? Yeah, me? A lot of well, if you say there's a lot of dumb people and yeah. then you got the most great education. Mm-hmm. But also they 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 love to flee for college. Yeah. But I think that's because of the I mean the, their college what, they their don't state want to go to college, Rutgers? It doesn't even have their name in it. Oh both because they're nice. they're in Um Yeah. They now, that said, if I did have to, Taylor Ham, that is true. I Dave love that him. shit. I love <laughs> yeah. that shit. He I, uh, all the time. If I did live, have to work out of the New York office at all, then I would have lived in Hoboken, which kind of okay. Well, that probably your whole, your whole. Just because I argument. I hate Manhattan that much, not the whole state of New York, but yeah, because Manhattan. Living in Jersey City or Hoboken, I think those are like the best alternatives to living. In, uh, if like if you don't want to live in Manhattan because the rent's like way cheaper. Way cheaper. You're still very yeah. close to the city and you can have a lot of fun in Hoboken. Mm-hmm. I like Hoboken. Jersey city. Yeah. Wait, you, you haven't seen enough of the state though. It sucks. New Jersey does still as of December 2023 has the most uh, millionaires per capita. Millionaire households. When I guess that. 123,000. Would not have guessed that. So a bunch of dummies, I guess. But. Donnie, you're up. Um, okay. You're uh, essentially a Guido to me. You just uh, a pale Guido doesn't <laughs> curl that much. I don't, or ever you curled do anything. more and got tanner. You would be my. I would have to of also Jersey like Shore, have you know like like adequate personal hygiene and take care of myself and like do my laundry. That's part of the whole Guido bit. So you're just that, but like gross. No, right? I got all my dad's side, just like the hillbilly <laughs> yeah. midwife. I think you would get trash. along with that archetype. The Guido? Guido? Yeah. No, 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 no. I can see you wearing but, a chain. But then like, there's like Rico no, Basso. <laughs> that's a lie. I don't know. And Staten Island should be part of fucking New Jersey because that's... Uh, I, I agree Security guard Mike's like one of my favorite guys. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with the with this yeah. population there. Yeah, it's, there's just it's bad. Too many stones. It's bad. And I say that as someone who's half New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. All right. I don't think that's a thing. You're what? <laughs> I'm half New Jersey. You said it like as if I'm half Irish. Like you're not half half New Jersey. Uh, no fucking shit. <laughs> I don't know why you claim that. 
Donnie, I'm trying up. to prove a point that I like okay. I, my entire. Um, but people will side. love that pick. A lot of people. It, that state despise. fucking stinks. It's one of the most hated. There, it does, obviously, I I could have picked some other fucking drive through state and say the same. Oh, high crime, but New Jersey fucking blows. Well, like I, I used to say, to say that. That. I used to shit on New Jersey all the time, and then I s- spent time there, and I was like, it's kind of pleasant. Um, moving on. Side note: I did look up Miss. North Dakota, and um, yeah, she's not that attractive. <laughs> hey, she's like a know. Chicago uh, seven, maybe. Okay, or maybe a Chicago six. I don't know. Um, what year are we talking, Donnie? Uh I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna text it to you. But my what pick about? is going to be Utah, just because it's a. Um, Utah. What do they call those states if it's like a run by religion? It's a theocracy. theocracy, theocracy sort of thing. Yeah, I think it's kind of weird living in a, a state that's kind of controlled by one religion, and I'm sure they have like certain rules that the rest of the country don't have because they're so Mormon. That's true. That's true. Yeah, they have uh, know some of the rules. Well, I know one rule that the one of the main reasons why they'll they're not going to get an NFL expansion team is because they can't sell alcohol on Sundays. And they like they're, they would be worried about attendance for football games on Sundays because people are in prayer, in service. Okay. So Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Donnie? That's um, a good fun fact. Yeah. Six was pushing it, maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Six was pushing we'll it. We'll just leave it at that. All yeah, right. Um, Wait, yeah, now I can't oh, say... Yeah. He said seven. I, I didn't know. I was trying to be generous but i mean if she's like winning their state beauty pageant that's rough she might have had a good Um, talent yeah i mean so i know they held the winter olympics there so like i'm sure they have some solid mountains and uh nice nature there but some of the best i've heard that Have you ever been yeah zion it was life-changing okay is that where, where i always see those people like water skiing through those cool canyons there's a lot of incredible national parks Okay. Moab, uh, I've heard, arches, I've heard good things lands. about Moab, but, um, yeah, in terms of the actual cities there, right, like yeah. I'm not like, I don't know what they're doing for fun. Um, I don't have anything against Mormons. Shout out Jimmer for debt, the Mormon Megalodon. He's a great guy, but I think I would get bored. They're get, They're annoying. They're getting, they're flying too close to the sun. I feel like they're on like a trending yeah. project, like people mormons are like huge on the internet oh they are are they having their moment on the internet i feel like there's been a bunch of shows about them too yeah they're getting too much limelight yeah too much (laughs) yeah (laughs) way too much they need to be beat back down and yeah they need to yeah and then i think in like rural communities there they probably have people that still have like five wives stuff i read that book about under the banner of heaven did you ever read that i've never heard that was about these like extreme mormon sex warren jeff's yeah, and I think yeah. they would take wives that were like 16 years Ooh, old and stuff. Don't like that. Have like four of them. Um, okay, and then my second one, I think I'm going to pick this just based on my only experience there with you, Eddie. Yeah, I knew. I, this Wyoming. is my next pick, yeah. Um, now, I know Wyoming has Jackson Hole, but like you got to be rich as fuck to be going to Jackson Hole. Um, and uh, the only place I've been is Cheyenne. Yeah. And we went for their biggest event of the year, which is like Cheyenne Frontier, Frontier Days. Frontier Days, yeah. Um, and that was so boring. Like no one, no one even seemed to be having that much fun. <laughs> Rodeos, I think, are kind of overrated. Um, <sighs> yeah, I just, I don't have much fun at a rodeo. You can only watch people lasso like a calf so many times i had such high expectations too yeah like when you you invited me to wyoming i was like holy shit we're going to like jackson hole we're gonna like be seeing these beautiful mountains but you did get a good goon there you told me yes i I did get some good crab ring goons but it's just flat like they're like local cuisine is like do you want to try bull testicles um (laughs) and you said yes yeah yeah obviously yeah tried them how were they um they're not great, but they're like deep fried, so yeah. they don't taste Anything horrible. Deep fried's good, yeah. Um, but, but they're not. There's like nothing to them, though. I wouldn't even say they're good. Like I just yeah. say they exist. Yes, yeah, Cheyenne. I just I I got it's a good bad pick. vibes. Friendly enough people, but boring. Cheyenne we were there for their biggest event of the year. Yeah, and that's like a more of an extension of the Great Plains than like a 
Yeah, you're not Mountain near mountains right yeah. now. You're only like two hours north of Denver, aren't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We flew into Denver. We drove. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I will say on that same trip I referenced before, we did the Tetons and we did Yellowstone and they were spectacular. Yeah. yeah. So yes. that, if you go to the western part of the state, I think- Sure, it's great. Yeah. Me and Donnie yeah. just experienced the other- Yellowstone side. is sort of like on the border of Wyoming and Montana, right? Uh, because I yeah, it's it's like southwest. I think it's like like close to Idaho too. It's like okay. it's like southwest Wyoming, if I remember correctly. Uh, White Sox, Dave, you're up. Wait, did nobody? Oh, okay. Um, we are getting to, down to a little bit of slim pickings in terms of like places that just are nothing. Um. We've almost taken half. We will take half. <clears throat> I'll just say Minnesota at this point. St. Paul, Minneapolis, St. Paul used to be a uh, cool little city. It's gotten fucking, from what I understand, it's just like you don't go there anymore. You I'm, heard this I'm from the Chief. one that told you that. Yeah, I was, yeah. you heard this from Chief. No, I've heard, um, but that's not just you saying that. That's like, it, the place sucks. I, the only person I've heard ever, great things about Minneapolis. Yeah, <laughs> I've been. I liked it a lot. I've a, been too. I, my nice my aunt used to live there. So when I, I was a kid, my dad would drive me up to like Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and she'd meet us there and then drive us. And we did the whole Mall of America and all that stuff. Um, but I don't know what what what's there in Minnesota. It's basically a Dakota with a pro sports team and and franchises yeah, in the ma- kind of major city. Ten thousand plus lakes. Yeah, lakes. A lot of great lakes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Boundary waters. Boundary waters are hiking. awesome. See, Scandinavian I woman. Yeah, the the girls the, there are. They're, yeah, they're yeah, known yeah. for like Wander really hot bodies. Yeah. Tall, broads. How their yeah. tits look? Nice, I proportional to the good. body. Shapely, yeah. <laughs> Shapely, good proportions. Yeah. 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 No, I I used to I used to think I would live up there, and because I I would go up. My my best friend from college was from like a town in between the Twin Cities. And so we would go up. His dad worked for University of Minnesota. We we do the state fair, which is a big deal there. And then we go up and do the Boundary Waters. And when you're walking around the state fair, to Donnie's point, there's just these beautiful girls everywhere. And the city was fun. And then I went back last summer with Feidelberg. And there were no bars open. There was one bar open, and we went to it. It was called Big Gay 90s. And it was like we saw this, like, fucking – bizarre like bdsm show okay okay uh and there was like a line down the street because it was like the only place that was open big gay 90s and uh minneapolis uh yes Uh yeah so uh it was like sad because like the 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 twin cities that i remember from when i was in college i had a great time and then going back 15 years later i'm like this place is completely dead and i I knew a couple Uh, people there and they're like yeah like we never really recovered as like a downtown area after george floyd like it's just people moved out businesses closed down restaurants like places that used to be bars they're like we're only a restaurant now and we close at 10 and they just they've stuck to that so the city it's like sad i hope it comes back found a bounce back i hope it does i mean it's been a while it's been like what four years since then Mm -hmm. but if it was bound to bounce back, I think they would have tried to bounce back a little. I hope they find a way to bounce back because it it used to be great. I didn't think about the boundary waters. That's like boundary waters yeah, are. I, I would love to go to boundary yeah. waters. I heard it. It's yeah. like hard. It was hard. It's harder than. What fucking, do you mean hard? Because you have to like carry your boat. Yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah, you yeah, call yeah, it portaging. Yeah, from yeah. Like oh, it's like it's intense. <clears throat> People say it's the most like serene place it is. in the world because yeah. you can experience absolute silence in nature, which is like only so many places in America you can get that. I I would love you to. You would hate it. That. No, I would love that. <laughs> I like that nature shit. Like I've always said this. That nature shit. America is the hottest country in the world. You got Alaska. You got Hawaii. Obviously, you even the take those away. Hottest in like like it's a pretty... sex appeal. Yeah, and you got like you got the southeast is like you know Florida Everglades is tropical. What do you mean uh, sex appeal? It's 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 a joke. I'm talking about it as they, if it's uh, a person, KB. Yeah. Then you got the mountains, the Rockies, Appalachia. There's beauty to the Great yeah. Plains. Yeah. It's, it's a hot country. Purple Mountain Majesty. Mm-hmm. It's a lot yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. To me, you got pretty much every single type of yeah desert landscape. The is there like yeah. one type of landscape that the U.S. Doesn't have Arctic kind of 
Uh, no, we you got we got that go up to Alaska. Alaska. Yeah, 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 all the way northern. That's your, yeah. Well, that's my next pick. I know you guys have been, and I'm sure it's beautiful. I'm sure there's beautiful aspects, but any place where it's dark for six months out of the year, uh, I think it's a fair pick. Yeah. And it, no crime thanks. and drugs are also very bad there. No thanks. Okay, yeah. I, I would love to go. I've wanted to go. Same. Yeah. yeah. This is like a top tier visiting place in the world. One of the most beautiful places in the world, but the actually living there is probably one of the most depressing yeah. things yeah. I can think of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Six visit. months no light. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it depends, but I like that is like Nebraska. Nate, our hunting guy, bought a like a cabin up there. Like I'd love to go. I when I was a kid. You guys, do you ever see the movie White Fang when you were a kid? Yes. Like yes. that was my absolute favorite movie, and it took place in Alaska. And I've wanted to go since I was like five, mm-hmm. and um, I don't know. I, I've always wanted to go, so I wasn't going to draft it because it looks so beautiful. But that's I think you're. It was think, on my I think list. KB nailed it. Yeah. P- top yeah, five. I couldn't imagine to yeah. living yeah. there. Yeah. KB, you're up. I'm going to go motherfucking Rhode Island. I think it's like you take all of the negative, disgusting traits of Bostonians yeah. and subtract without the um, the culture, the history, the sports success, and the fun. To be fair, you only went to Wound Socket, right, <laughs> which is right. like the worst state. Yeah, but I think a lot of Rhode Island town. is that scummy, yeah. yes. Wound Socket ish. Yeah. And it then is. they got Newport. Um, the, the, yeah, Newport. Newport. Nice. Yeah, it's beautiful, but yeah. that's one place. No, you're right. I think there's something. I think Providence. Pro- I've never been there. Providence it can't sucks. be great. Providence is known as like the hand job capital of New England. Oh. So if you want to get jacked off, I guess it's good. Still a big yeah. like mob town. Right yeah. Too, right? Yep. Yeah. Very corrupt. Yep. Right I, I think it's a fair pick. Dave, Mr. Irrelevant. I'm Mr. Irrelevant. Oh, Chief, sorry. Yeah. My apologies. I think I'm about to take the most irrelevant state there is. I think oh. everybody just forgot about it. Yeah. Delaware. Yep. Uh, All right. Delaware. No, I had Delaware See, on the mind. Yeah. yeah. So it was part of my dart these last two. Yeah. Like, so Delaware, it's yeah. like they they even make fun of it in Wayne's world. It's like, oh, look, Garth, we're in Delaware. Like it's <laughs> Delaware. Like no one know I don't I've never been there. Um but I have no desire to. I don't even know how you would get there. Do you have to go to Maryland. First? So the majority of the state is just a suburb of Philadelphia. But then you have some some nice beach towns. I think Rehoboth. Do we? Beach, is that where we? you used to go? Or no, I think that's where Nick used to go. He raves. A lot of people rave about vacations. the beach towns. Okay, but that's it. Like there's, um, yeah. it's the, it is the most irrelevant yeah. state. It's it's the one state where everyone incorporates their their business. There's, yeah, there's, there's a lot of that's tax true. benefits. Yep. Yeah. Or Delaware Corp. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, one time it was New Year's Eve in New York, and then I was heading back up to Boston. I was really hungover, and I got on the wrong bus and <laughs> fell asleep. Thought I would wake up back in Boston, but I woke up in Delaware, and it was like the worst hangover of my life. I was like, oh shit, I got to get off this bus because it was going all the way to DC. And so I just hopped off the bus in Delaware at like a rest stop and then like had to talk my way onto like one of, the other buses that was heading back to New York. <laughs> Oof. Sounds like a bad yeah. situation. Yeah. That's but. unfortunate. Yeah. I, to choose, I completely forgot about it. I yeah. didn't. Part of my dart. Uh, all right. That's it. Any honorable mentions? Like who's like, um, yeah, I, I have one, um, um Pennsylvania, like that drive through Pennsylvania is the most boring drive you can do it's in the country. Uh, it's I mean, a bad. it has Philly, and I I, I actually you thought the Poconos, Pittsburgh though. is. I liked Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is cool. So like Philly and Pittsburgh is the reason I didn't ch- like choose it, but mm. the rest of Pennsylvania it is, it's is cool. horrendous. Yeah, I also feel like we used to do that drive from Chicago to Connecticut or Massachusetts in the summers. It goes on forever. Yeah, you're just in. You're just in, and yeah. it's all darkness. Like <laughs> I just feel like there's because that's when it would always shake out. You'd always be driving through Pennsylvania. Yeah, the night. middle of the night. Yeah. yeah. And it's like I don't. Need, I hope I don't run out of gas. Like there's just nothing around. You got one KB. If I had to pick an honorable mention, yeah, I think um, that's probably the best. Way I to think go. South Carolina is overrated, or even I like the South Carolina is kind of like, like you know, Charleston, kind of like Rhode Island, the only good part. Yeah, like right, right. Charleston Old and Head, Newport that, have some. Yeah, the rest is just backwoods, like yeah. for, like Alabama to me, Georgia. 
Georgia, yeah. Um, I like I, Augusta, Georgia is actually very rough. Shitty. Yeah. Really? I love Savannah. Except the for the Masters, course. Yeah. yeah. If you, like, right when you leave the golf course, it's like. Yeah. Athens looks really area. cool, though. Savannah yeah, people, is awesome. Yeah, Savannah, Savannah is awesome. Savannah That's one of my favorite. Yeah. Um, I mean, Illinois. Yeah, yeah. 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 Honestly, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Chicago is. I've never seen a city carry a state. <laughs> It can't like the oh, rest it, of it, this state, and the rest of the state keeps trying to pass legislation to kick Cook County yeah. out of Illinois. It's like <laughs> that's where they, all of your money comes yeah, from. Yeah, what? <laughs> so I, let's think this. I'm through. actually surprised nobody drafted it outside I, of Chicago. Yeah, that that should have been drafted. This yeah. place kind of fucking blows. Without Chicago, we're Indiana. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, With more like political corruption. Yeah, and I th- yeah, but I, that kind of comes from Chicago too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I had Oregon too, just because. Yeah, yeah. it's so like it looks so beautiful. Portland's yeah, it does look beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, the libs have run amok. Shout out Dave Portnoy for saving me from moving Portnoy. there. <laughs> but just like more so, I mean, obviously California has its issues. But if you're talking about the West Coast, like there, Washington, it feels like they would be yeah the last one you'd want to go. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It looks it looks amazing, it like does. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't yeah. know about living there. Yeah. The Snake River. Snake Oregon River. Trail, yeah. You were about to um, move there? I had accepted a job. I accepted a job at the beginning of December that I was going to move to Oregon. I was going to split my time between uh, Portland and this other city, like, way downstate. Because they're like, they're like, you have to live here. I'm like, nah, I can't live there. It's like, all right, we figured you'd say that. So we're going to rent a house in this, um, you know, southern part of the state. And then you can do, like, four days a week in Portland, three days a week down there. And, uh, and then Dave offered us, this is December of 18, like – Maybe like ten days later, something like that. Oh, so shit. I called him back, be like, "I'm not coming." <laughs> so you would have wow. been happier there. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Has anyone ever been to uh, Idaho? No. Drove drove through no, it. No, it's that's like on an upswing too. Yeah, like Boise's getting all callied out. Yeah. For really? a while, I think. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like a it's mm-hmm. like the northwest version of like Nashville. It's population explosion. Not quite to that extent, but yeah. a lot of people. Okay. There's supposed to be like Sun Valley skiing supposed to be yeah, awesome is, there. Mm-hmm. And then there's a French like lake town that I can't Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene. Yeah. yeah. It looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool too, yeah. All right. And then yeah, I we, think I I can't believe fucking I wish someone would have had the balls to draft California because fuck that place. <laughs> people yeah. also seem to love Arizona, but like I've heard, Arizona like during the summer is a hellhole. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, a really fact. rough place to be. That's fact. Um, I mean, same with Nevada. Other than Nevada Las sucks. Vegas, yeah, like, Nevada could be could have easily been picked. Yeah, yeah, because like Reno, Nevada, that's got to be one of the worst. I like cities. Reno nine one one though. Yeah, but it's Tahoe. I don't it? think watching uh, that makes you want to like move to Reno. Re- yeah, Reno is like the airport you fly yeah. into to go to Tahoe. It's a pretty. Tahoe's nice sweet. looking area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna read them off. Then we'll vote who had the worst draft. Then we'll not be on this week's poll. Uh, Donnie, Mississippi, South Dakota, Indiana, Utah, Wyoming, White Sox, Dave, West Virginia, Arkansas, Kentucky, New Jersey, Minnesota, Eddie, Iowa, Louisiana, New Mexico, New Hampshire, Alaska, KB, North Dakota, Oklahoma, Alabama, Missouri, Rhode Island, Chief, Connecticut, Kansas, New York, Nebraska, Delaware. Write it on a blank text, and then we'll do it. Dave, you ready? I'm red. I'm good. Uh, Donnie, who you got? Am I supposed to? You, who you, you voted? Just, who sure. had the worst? Um. Uh, who had the was, best list I, of worst states? Yeah, no, I just I wasn't paying attention when you read them all <laughs> off, but um, I think. Oh, do you have them written down? Yeah. Uh, who do you got, Chief? I voted for you. Okay. Yeah. KB? I, I, I didn't really take in what process. you were saying, but I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i just go with Dave to maintain integrity. Dave? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go for Eddie. Eddie. I went with Ed. I went with Dave. Okay. So Ed's yeah. out. I'm out. Yeah. Uh, I don't lives in New Mexico. What was, what was your um, soft spot? Your list? My list was Iowa, Louisiana, New Mexico, New Hampshire, Alaska. Oh yeah, Alaska. What about Dave had New Jersey? People are gonna love what Dave took New Jersey. Yeah, but people hate New Jersey. <laughs> people are gonna dislike the Alaska. But Louisiana Alaska, picks. you can't Louisiana. That one, that one was bad to me. I 
especially in the second I round. I think it's hard for you to – I get your point, but I think it's hard for you to say that without going there. I've been there many times. Yeah, it's times. weird that you have never been in your – But Ed, Ed has told me many times, he's like, Dave, New Orleans, that's a U town. Like, that's that town was – Yeah, but I say that about Windsor, Canada. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> – you know? Yeah, like there's – I want to go to Windsor, like uh, – it, we you we would have a great time. Yeah, I'm sure we would. Yeah. But like but New it's, Orleans, uh, it's that's like, for, I, I, New Orleans is a place actual people go to. No one goes to Windsor. That's true. That's a me thing. I'm acknowledging that I love New Orleans. I just think the state of Louisiana is a little rough. And then you said Baton Rouge is awesome too. I never been, but I, I, I re- obviously I love LSU and respect LSU. I mean that was that was what, what sunk your pick or your draft for me, Louisiana. That's fine. I figured as much. Um, on that note, th- thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate thank you it. That, yeah. um, that's it, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on Wednesday.